Hello everybody, and welcome to game 2 of this 1v1 matchup between Macros and Pavlos, part of the 1v1 Winter Championship Tournament. I'm Philothanic, and joining me once again is Gameslayer. Gameslayer, what do you think about this map? Well, we complained a lot about the lack of iron and other resources. We seem to have a lot of iron at this point. Uh, aluminium is looking a little worse for the wear. We've got some patches of hide, so it's, it's definitely workable. Water as well, it's all over the place, but uh, there's definitely patches here and there that people can definitely use, along with the silicon. So this is actually quite a generous map compared to the, what we've been seeing in this tournament so far. Right, it is generous. The only thing that's not generous is carbon. There's just a bunch of low carbon, so I'd be a little bit surprised if we see some expansive, I mean, sorry, scavengers coming out. But, um, but despite that, we have a lot of good access to uh, carbon with uh, the dry ice. Macross taking the first bound as a robotic. Uh, I potentially would have held out for a bit more money there. There's quite a lot of workable founds here. Pavlos going for a very interesting scientific found. Uh, okay. She's going into... Okay, well, this gets more interesting. He's going into double food, what? one steel mill. What? Which is a more a, a more interesting found. Um, I was going to say that the food prices did start a bit higher. But, um... And... Generally speaking, when you want to do this, you want steel to be low. And steel is not low for him, unfortunately. And he's going to have to pay for the aluminium and... It was low, but Macros has been uh, buying up in the steel, I think. Cause of, as, as he should, as he as should. He I should. believe it started at standard, but yeah, as he should. He's already got that upgrade, he can go to HQ2 now, he can grab some aluminium, he can grab the rest of that steel, and he should be able to go to HQ3 quite easily, whilst Macros still struggles uh, with the steel, uh, especially if he keeps an eye on Magnetic Storm. Getting a nice Magnetic Storm uh, when Pavlos is 2 will be crippling. Right, so this sort of opening... Uh, ignoring for a minute this one steel mill is much better in an FFA setting where it's a lot harder for everybody to punish you. Because in an FFA setting, chances are if one person dry buys up the steel to uh, try and punish you for this farm scientist move, somebody else will uh, take advantage of that high price and sell down the steel. And Macros is using money in the black market that he, I don't think he can afford. I mean, sorry, pa yeah, Pavlos, that Pavlos, I don't think Pavlos yeah. can afford to. He needs that money for the upgrade. Well, he can. I suppose he, he actually can. could. Uh, the the steel the the steel mill uh, managed to produce quite a decent amount, and now he's actually going to be able to get to HQ2 just fine. I'd like to see him take uh, maybe just a water pump here, just start driving that price down, get some money into that. Uh, he he's get, getting his steel up, that's nice. Uh, and he's also frozen out Macross. Macross is going to have a bit of a tougher time of it because of this freeze. Most of the time when you're robotic, you want to start second as a robot, which gives you an extra claim, which allows you to separate your steel mills a lot better, so that you're not getting everything frozen out. But uh, since he found a first, he's not going to be able to do that. Right. Uh, Macros did split his steel mills up, but unfortunately for him, Pablo's hit all of his iron income. And just purchased into all the iron so macros is just sitting here with none of his claims doing anything except for this blown aluminum tile uh yeah interestingly enough that uh that's not those are two iron mines not two steel mills uh yes isn't that what that, i said that surprises me well you said that you bought into it uh, you can buy into it without it being steel but that seems strange to me that you buy into uh, that you buy into the iron after this as well because it's so easy for the robot to just crush that price and it does take a while for the uh, build bots to actually go to that go to that spot. So when he has to transition, it's going to take him a little longer than he'd like. But well, another freeze comes out on that Melomite. Macross, you've got to defend that. Unfortunately, you've got to pay for that uh, goon squad, and he had the money to do so, but he chose not to. And uh, fortunately for him, though, this high, high iron uh, tile comes up. If he actually wins this, this will solve a lot of his issues that he's been having with having no iron. Yes. I'm just a bit mesmerized because I've never seen the electrics, the power surge frozen at this uh, particular point in the animation. It is very nice. Uh, interestingly so... enough, uh, he's going into solar condensers. He's ignoring the rest of his... Uh, rest of his steel uh, even after he had a potential to win that to win that he's deciding no uh, we're gonna just go into some oxygen oxygen is gonna be profitable here and then maybe go into some wind turbines at HQ3 which makes some uh, nice sense but uh, I do worry about how long it's gonna take for him to upgrade by going these alternate routes especially with that food shortage that is a beautiful 
food shortage, the RNG just playing into Pavlos' favor here, since he went into two food from the very beginning. And look, he's actually transitioning into steel now instead of iron. Look, much, it takes a while for those steel mills to get there. Much Quite yellow, a while. As you said, uh, I think... He says whoops, oh. so I think he uh, meant for them to be steel from the first place and just realized his error right That would now. make a lot more sense. That would make a lot more sense. Unfortunately uh, for Pavlos, he's been punishing Macros enough that that doesn't seem to hurt him too much. He's still in the lead by a little bit, but could have been in Macros a greater has, lead. Macros does have a lot of money in this oxygen right now, but he just doesn't have the steel, unfortunately, to upgrade still despite that. And now it is nighttime, so those uh, those solar condensers aren't doing anything now. Uh, just like the steel mills were before. Yes, he needs... 19k to upgrade has 12k so missing 7k and right now the only thing that's making money for him was his metal mine which he decided to, an aluminum mine which he decided to turn off due to the high shipping costs yes he was actually operating on zero power used up which was very impressive uh Pavlos has now sold down all of the iron he's decided that uh, now's the time now that he's managed to make force a transition into the solar condensers, which are use some fairly expensive glass, he can afford to transition back out. Right. Because uh, yeah, solar condensers are, are worth a good K each, which is quite a lot for uh, Macross here sitting on 16K in total. Right, Pavlos beats the robot to HQ3, which is not something you want to see as a robot player. And Pavlos... Oh, and Deciding to take a defended geotherm because the power price is a ridiculous one hundred and ten dollars and rising. You're gonna need more than just that, though, Pavlos. I'd, I'd suggest getting some wind turbines down or some solar panels down as well. Yes, because that is a ridiculous price, and you want to use as much of that as possible. You want to use as much of it as possible, and especially if Macros ever gets up to HQ two, three. Sorry, he has two geotherms connected to his Let base so I don't know why he hasn't gotten out of the double metal mines yet that's that's a mistake these at least one of them in fact probably all of them should be uh, steel mills instead of buying up steel and then selling down steel off of this one steel mill Macross deciding not to buy bid into the virtual reality, which uh, tells me that he's trying to make some money off of this power, but then he's going to another geothermal. Uh, it's going to be very difficult to make money off of just those two. I still... Ooh, and the goon squad pops pops after hitting the dynamite. Unfortunate for, for Macross over here. Yes. Macross did get to HQ. Three decided to go into some more steel mills, keeping them split up so they can't be frozen. And is let's see, where's this claim bot going in for some more iron? Very. Uh, he far had from that from the. Yes, he had that from the auction a long time okay. ago, and he's just now starting to use that tile. That makes a little bit more sense, but um, and puts it on a solar panel. No, that makes sense. Uh, I would recommend that he gets out of the metal mines he's got right now, though, and go into something. He also still has the claim left. He has all of this carbon that uh, I would have loved to have seen go into wind turbines, but he's just not going to. Yeah, he no longer he has skip. the claims for wind turbines. He needs to go into power somewhere, some way, somehow. The black and his... He's going into more steel. Okay, he's just going to try and just power through <laughs> to get to HQ4 so that he can then get the claims in order to put he some power down. Put down. This is going to be very painful. Defended geotherm, which is not going to be enough to cover all the steel. Once they're online, I don't think. Oh, it'll be barely enough. They're only using 1.7k power for macro. Meanwhile... Pavlos is sitting there, 2.6 power a second. He's got, he's got those farms in, farms uh, there which are not using up much power in the slightest. However, uh, there is a shortage of the thing that Pavlos is not creating. That's also water right now. But Pavlos will be wanting to go into that HQ4, so he's fine. However, uh, Pavlos also has a claim that he's not used up. Which now, both surprises players me. are sitting on unused claims. Pavlos is, well, two ticks away from making power money, which he's making right now at 1k a second. 1k a second, but only 2.6 power a second, which is insane, absolutely insane. Pavlos, yeah. please put down put down some solar, solar panels, panels right he now. He's bought into silicon for this. HU4 solar panels, come on Pavlos. Yeah, there needed to be multiple solar panels at probably HQ3. But at least now oh. that he's HQ4, build some solar panels in this uh, triangle of water over here. You can transition them to the south of his base, you can transition them later. 
this this hacker ray is interesting. Most of the time you'll see these bids go up to 28, even 32k, but at this point Pavlos is not wanting to use it because he's making power money right now. He's making a lot of power money. He gets it for 18, 18K. yeah, quite cheaply, but it's 18k of cash, which uh, helps Macross heavily because if Pavlos hadn't have taken that, he could have just potentially gone for straight up a buyout on Macross. This gives Macross the ability to actually go to HQ4. Pavlos is deciding to go into those three solar panels, right where I suggested them they should be. In this case, deciding that the increased chance of getting them knocked out via the black market is worth the price of being able to transition them into water later, which Absolutely. I agree. Absolutely. As a scientific, you don't care quite so much about the black market anyway. They're not going to be up for very long, but they are going to be up. And he's also shorting power, yes. which is uh, going to be movie. very evil. Macross is already in C-debt. He's going to be in D-debt by the end of this uh, night. A short on power, tickets. a slowdown strike on Macross' is current one operating geothermal plant. Macross does have another geothermal plant coming online as we speak. Well, Macross has decided to turn off all of the steel mills. He is desperately, desperately uh, trying to stave off uh, the inevitable power problems right now. He's still got those two unused claims, but uh, with silicon so high, why don't you just take silicon, actually? You have two unused claims. You should probably take a silicon. That is the actual normal price of silicon. Oh, he has taken silicon. Okay, he just took it very don't far away. Don't silicon. Um, we had mentioned at the beginning of this game that this steel would be easily mag easily hit by magnetic storms and uh macros has not bought into or used the magnetic storm at all when the steel price yeah that higher. power short that that power surge at the start of the game just really hurt macros and he was unable to do any of the interesting tactics that we've suggested that is a mule macros is muling silicon sorry pavlos is muling silicon well muling uh, silicon beautiful beautiful and completely irrelevant as pavlos completely has the buy irrelevant. right now there we go makes the buy. Pavlos with some early black market aggression that just put Macros in a hole Macros could not recover from and Macros not attempting to do any black market aggression back at Pavlos other than a couple dynamites on this geotherm but by then it was too little too late. Yep. Lesson learned guys if you're going to be doing uh, the going robotic first in this sort of situation you need to be getting that goon squad up on your uh, metal mines or at least just buying one to to um, make the opponent a bit scared because if you just let him rain down on the same spot again and again and again, you're going to lose. Right. Uh, surprisingly, Patmos only threw four black market attacks against Macros. It felt like a lot more just due to how devastating they were. Oh yeah, they, and, they uh, were so and, devastating. And Macros with two black market attacks back against Pavlos. Pavlos making... Yeah, one of them got caught though. Yes. Macros make Pavlos, sorry, both players end with OS. Pavlos making an insane 234k in power, and this game only was at Soul 5, which makes it even more ridiculous the amount of power. Yeah, that was still $350 worth of power. He could have. But could have made a lot could probably more. Probably put down two geothermals and still had enough two uh, two offworlds and still being able to buy buy Macros with that much money. 3k a second. Yeah, it's, it's just ridiculous. There's no other way to put it. 